Hi, this is Carol here, and I want to continue the discussion on psychopaths. I, um, after doing some research on what they are and trying to get my head around it, because it's quite uh, difficult to understand when you're not a psychopath. It's hard to understand what it's like and what to expect from someone who has no uh, neural activity in their emotional centers related to the higher emotions because that's what they found when they look at uh, psychopaths in an MRI. The uh, parts of the brain that normally would uh, express love, attachment, empathy, morals, conscious, are not activated in a psychopath. They are asleep. The nerves do not fire. Whether it's nature or nurture, this is the person that we have to watch out for. And it's so difficult to understand what this person will do to us or what to expect or what to look out for that we often, even if we study what a psychopath is, we often still become victimized because we just can't imagine that the guy next door or the girl next door or the boss or this or that would, would, would do such terrible things. So I have model, a model for understanding the psychopath. And it's very, very simple. If you've ever played any sort of game, you'll get it. It's, it's the video game model. So let's just say we have a video game. And I'll tell you what the video game is. It's a game where you go in and it's a single player game. And the goal of the game, and, and say you're going to win a thousand dollars, so you're really motivated to win. The goal of the game is to use people uh, because everybody in the game is just an AI, artificial intelligence. Everybody in the game is a robotic character that walks around on the screen, and they're not real. They're just it's just a made-up program. And so you walk around, and all these people there. And so your goal of the game is to get as many points as you can. And the points, there's control points. There's power points and there's money points, and you try to get all three. And the, the, the method is to use people to, you know, fool them or, so you try to trick people, you know, into, uh, you know, giving you money and then you leave them high and dry. <laughs> and um, the people in the AI game, like maybe the game is programmed to where 99% of them don't know what psychopaths are, so they're real gullible, you know. And so you just talk to them, tell them you're, they're so beautiful. Oh, and would you would you uh, lend me some money? I'll give you five dollars tomorrow, you know. And then basically you use them, and then you win. You get as many points as possible. Consider this like a world sport, right? So you play the psychopath game, so you're getting up there. So this game, anybody could play it. You could play it. Any I could play it. Anybody could play it. And while you're playing it, you don't know that these AIs are real. They're not real. In the game, they're fake. They're all... So, of course, you have no conscious uh, cognitive dissonance. I mean, you, you're not doing anything wrong when you, you know, hurt people to get ahead because it's just a game, right? They're just, they're just pawns, you know? So, um, here's what a psychopath is, now that you know what the game is. A psychopath is a schizophrenic, that's someone that has hallucinations that aren't real, but they think they're real. So he's a schizophrenic, and his ongoing lifelong um, hallucination is that he's playing a video game, and he's on this world tournament. And this video game is the one I just described, where he's here in the world, and it's a real, real realistic game, you know, 3D goggles, basically you sleep through it, you wake up through it. So his whole life is playing this video game. And he's told when he wakes up, oh, only one hour will have gone by, right? <laughs> but so he's playing this video game, but really, he's, you know, we see him as a psychopath. But in his mind, since he's schizophrenic and he's having hallucinations, he thinks that he's playing this video game. And he sees all the people through his 3D goggles, that's you and me, and all of these people as AI. They're, they have no souls. He thinks he can hurt them all he wants and he'll just get points. So how would someone like that treat you? they thought you were in this, this game. That is what you have to look out for. Psychopaths do not see you as a real person that can get hurt. They're just out for themselves. And when I think about it this way, I got it. I got it right away. I woke up with this idea, and it sure is an easy way to predict what a psychopath will do. So I hope this helped you, and leave your comments. If you like my videos, please subscribe, and Peace.